Hello everyone, welcome to my weekly messages. I'm Jalayla Starr. Today I have my good friend Jennifer here. She's staying with me for a period of time as she goes to uh, counselor training. So this, uh, there's a reason that I have her with me today in the video, which I'll explain here in a moment. Today's topic is Ellen and the economy. And this topic came to me as I was uh, walking with my dogs in the, in the uh, park yesterday and I was talking to my other friend Nancy Joy it seems like whenever we get together it's like the guys go okay this is a good time to you know get some information to these two so Nancy would ask a question and I won't know the answer but then all of a sudden the answer just kind of drops in and vice versa for her so anyway we were talking about the economy and you know the fact that the, the US uh, has to come up with a budget uh, for the coming year and it, the deadline is Tuesday, or the U.S. economy goes into a, into default. We default on all of our loans around the world. And as it said, you know, as as it's saying goes, as the U.S. goes, so goes the the the, uh, the world. Simply because the U.S. dollar is still the reserve currency for the world. So, in other words, if we default, we're going to see mass chaos in the uh, economic systems around the world not a good thing. Well, we were talking and then we started talking about Elenin. Yeah, Comet Elenin was, which is from my understanding, really a brown dwarf, which they don't want you to know about that <clears throat> because brown dwarfs are known to cause some, some problems because they have a strong uh, heavy magnetic core that can actually pull on the core of our planet or any planet that they pass, depending on their size, they can pull, you know, they can move our tectonic plates, causing earthquakes and volcanoes and all kinds of stuff, as we are seeing, as we have seen back in April in uh, Japan. So, um, what came to us was this uh, connection between the economy, Elenin, and, you know, the, the thing that we've been told about for years, you know, we were all awakening, going through our training, fulfilling our missions, and we were preparing for a time in the future. Well, what we got was that this time, this, you know, this, the, the, there's a connection between the U.S. coming up with their new fiscal plan for the year and Comet Elenin coming and Earth changes, and this being the time that, that we've all been, been, you know, gearing up for for, over, for decades. So this is what I wanted to share with you, and then I wanted to bring in, you know, why I have Jennifer here, too. Okay, so we get like two or three things going on in this video. Number one, the connection between the economy and this being the time that we've all been waiting for, and, and of course, Elenin, is this. The way that we choose to go with the economy, say we raise a debt ceiling or we don't raise a debt ceiling, and the way the U.S. population responds to whatever plan is enacted is going to affect the mass consciousness. And because we have the reserve currency, our reaction to it as a nation is going to impact the rest, the way that the world looks at it as well, because what we do here is going to affect the rest of you guys out there. Well, if we emote a lot of fear over it, if it goes south for us, so to speak, that is going to spread to all of you. And what you then put out is the same kind of fear, and that goes into the mass consciousness. Well, the law of attraction states that what you put out, you get back. So here we've got this orbiting brown dwarf that could be pulled closer. And we know that we can impact physical objects with our emotions. In other words, you know, based on quantum science and the law of attraction, whatever you put out is electromagnetic and it will draw its likeness. So if we all put out a tremendous amount of fear about the economy, because there's nothing like money to trigger survival fears, at a time when this planet's coming through, we can actually draw it closer and create a, pro a, a greater problem than what we necessarily need to. So it's like this is a time we've all been waiting for. This is a pivotal moment. What we decide to do about the economy here can impact the world and possibly draw this, this brown dwarf close, closer. On the other hand, 
This also shares what tells us what the solution is, is that if we focus on our emotional clearing, we focus on looking for the value, if we focus on, you know, having hope and, and, and seeing in our mind, envisioning a more positive outcome, and we project that around the world, we can actually cause this planet to move further away from us because the planet's not on a set orbit and it's not at moving at a set speed. So as we go around the, uh, our solar, as we, as we move around the sun, okay, we can be here, Elenin's here. If we can stay, keep the sun between us, Elenin will not have an effect on us, but we can control that through our emotions. That's my point here. And we, and, and so right now, this is a time that we make that choice. In the next week or so, we all, you, me, everyone else, makes that choice. Whatever we're emoting, whatever we're feeling, is going to attract or repel this brown dwarf. Okay, I hope I made that clear. Does that make Okay, mm -hmm. good. All right, yeah. so here's why Jennifer's here. There's a lot of people go, well, you know, Ellen's really not real. And that's what a lot of the media would like for you to believe. But Elenin and Nibiru and part of the Nibiru solar system is visible now here in the Northern Hemisphere. And you can take your camera and go out and take photos of the sun and you will see it. It will show up in your photos. So we ha I, last week I shared with all of you guys this, um, this YouTube channel that this gentleman emailed me about. And he actually called me. And he had started taking these these pictures from Portland, Oregon. And so he sent them to me. He sent me the link to his YouTube video where he has a whole, like, 40 of them on there. Well, so we went out, and she took the photos. And this, you want to show the camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, how much is that camera? Oh, uh, it might be a couple hundred bucks because it's a touch screen, but... It's just a basic digital camera. Yeah, basic digital camera. I said 100 Okay, well, it's $200. Sorry about that. No, that's right. Okay. <laughs> and you can go and take these photos. So I posted three of these photos that she took uh, this past weekend on my website on the new Ellen and, uh, uh, Northwind page, which you'll find in the Galactic Federation section. And if you're getting the weekly message, there's a link to it on uh, in, in, the, in the weekly message. But it clearly shows another planet or comet very close, you know, or st our dwarf, very close to the sun, and then further out an even bigger one, and then orbiting that, it looks like something very close to it. And then there's another one that I think shows the opening to the spaceport on Nibiru, which I was told about back in 2005, and it looks like there's a very large mothership or something coming out of that opening because or you know Nibiru is also orbiting so now it's orbiting to the side with the spaceport where we can see this like what it looks like a gap or a hole in the planet so you got to go check that out go to the website you'll see it so for those of you who don't believe it's real just go get your camera and take a picture of the Sun and you'll see it and it is in. yeah and zoom in it's visible anywhere yeah anything else you want to tell them about how to how to get how to get a good picture? No, you just go outside. I just pointed towards the sun and I zoomed in and I did it on a couple different days. And so, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's maybe a little close and it doesn't show up, but when it does, it's it always looks the same. Isn't that amazing? And these, these pictures are like the ones that this guy shows on his YouTube channel, which he took about, I don't know, a couple of three weeks ago. And then I just got an email from a guy in Puerto Rico who showed us pictures of the sun rising. And you could see two suns rising. <laughs> it's real. So here's the thing. Get your emotion clearing done. Focus on what you want to see versus what, what, what you don't want to see. And we collectively, we can alter the core, the, the, the orbit of this brown dwarf. And hopefully it will be the only part of the Nibiru uh, entourage or solar system that we will experience this time for the next 3,600 years. That's our goal. All right, that's it for today. Have a great week. Talk to you next week. Go check out those pictures. Bye-bye.